Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. Today we're going to be talking about clone fragrances. Fragrances that are cheap, get this, but they smell like something more expensive. This is a topic that has never been done before. Totally unique. Something that you will never see again, probably. This is like... But I do have 12 different clone fragrances here today that smell like much more expensive fragrances. And uh, these are, by and large, really uh, under the radar clones. They're ones that don't get talked about much. Uh, I worked in a few that are more common, but a lot of these are much lesser known. And to top it all off, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and uh, hooking one of you up out there uh, with one of the clones that I talk about here today. I'll have each one of these linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. Also check out these codes. Uh, you can use these at any of these websites and they will in fact save you some money. So that's always a good thing. Triple Traders and uh, Frag Bar have a lot of clone fragrances, so check them out. And uh, completely unrelated to today's topic, uh, Precious Liquid has a new code, which is Ashton40. Get you 40 bucks off a bottle of your choice at that website. So just uh, a lot of codes. Oh, and then Hamidi, I forgot, Hamidi. Uh, you got some clones there as well. And that code is since 25, 25% off. All right, let's jump into it. It's in no particular order. So uh, it's not like the first one I show you is the worst of the bunch and the last one is the best or anything like that. The first one comes to us from Fragrance World and the name of the fragrance is Francique 6355. Just gotta love that name because it, it really tells you exactly what this is a clone of. No, it's, like, it's just gibbledy gobbledy gook. Francique 6355. But fear not, I'm gonna tell you what this is a clone of and it's actually very, very well done. So this one is a clone of BDK Parfums Gris Charnel. Yeah, it uh, <laughs> doesn't look like it, doesn't read like it would be, but it is. There is a, a slight difference between this one and Gris Charnel though, and that is this is a bit sweeter than Gris Charnel, and uh, the BDK is a, a bit drier. But other than that, the quality here is very, very good. When you spray this on right off the bat, it smells fantastic. You don't have any of that issue where you have to wait for it to dry down. You know, it's not one of those clones where you say, oh yeah, the first hour sucks, but let it dry down and, and then it smells mediocre. <laughs> No, nah, this one smells awesome right from the get-go. It's gonna be uh, your choice. I've got two different ones that I, I want to potentially give away. This is one of them, so you'll make the choice, whoever wins. But again, if you want a clone of Gris Charnel, an alternative to that, check this out. It is fantastic. Now one that's very inexpensive, and it's called Hercules from Maison Alhambra. Hercules, Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> Younger dudes just like this. Okay, I'm getting old. <laughs> Boy, am I getting old. So, uh, Maison Alhambra, Hercules, this is a clone of Parfums de Marley Herod. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious, right? As far as the kind of funky bottle design and everything else going on here, it's pretty obvious. I do like how they completely mismatch the color of the cap to the uh, the actual bottle itself. Couldn't be bothered to, to match that up, but hey, who cares? Now this one nowadays, under 20 bucks. You can get this at Fragrance Buy for about uh, like 19.50, I think it is. And at that price point, it's a fantastic alternative to Herod. Now this is one I wouldn't want to pay, you know, 50, 60 bucks for or anything, uh, but for $20 or just under, really good. So it's gonna give you that that tobacco uh, kind of sweetness, that warmth, that spice that Herod gives you. Extremely wearable, easy to pull off, good performance. A lot to love about this one. And as you may have noticed when I sprayed it out, for a fragrance that's under 20 bucks, really good atomizer. So if you want cheap Herod, Hercules. Now I've got one from Arabiat Prestige. This is Niel Oud. Now I've talked about Niel Queen a few times because that one is a clone of YSL's Baby Cat, which you know, it's pretty difficult to find a cheap alternative to that that's really well done, and that one is. But this one is different, completely different. It's it's not Baby Cat, no, it's it's Tuxedo. Actually, it's not completely different. It is a, an Yves Saint Laurent clone of a fragrance in the same line as Baby Cat, yeah. But this is also extremely, extremely well done. In general, of all of the fragrances that I've smelled from this house, they've been very high quality. Uh, actually more so than just about all the other clone fragrance lines out there. They are a little more expensive, 
but you get what you pay for. Uh, so this one around $60, so that does place it you know, up toward the, uh, the higher echelon, I guess, as far as uh, clone fragrance pricing goes. But like I said, it's worth it. Extremely smooth, very warm, inviting, good body to this one. Just a fantastic clone of Tuxedo with just a little bit of that fresh sweetness off the top to kind of lead you into the, uh, the dry down. Look at that, actually. These bottles, like brother and sister, or brother and brother. Brothers, man. After that one, Luciano's Sunset Swim. This one obviously is a Louis Vuitton clone. You can tell immediately just by looking at that bottle because apparently uh, there was a memo put out at some point that said everybody that clones Louis Vuitton fragrances has to also clone the bottle, I guess. I call it the copy and pastinator. No magnetic cap, so a little bit of a bummer there, but the fragrance itself really well done. And uh, in case you couldn't tell by the name Sunset Swim, this is a clone of Afternoon Swim. So this one has a ton of citrus off the top, very sweet, fresh, uh, enlivening, brisk. And uh, as it dries down, it has this kind of, you know, sea salty accord to it. Really well done, and for the price point, a fantastic alternative to Afternoon Swim. So this one would be more of a summertime, daytime fragrance, but it's, uh, I mean, kind of a citrusy aquatic. It's pretty hard to dislike it. After that one, another one from Fragrance World. It is Posh Omega. Yeah, Posh Omega. This is a clone of Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Mans. Essence de Parfum. Yeah, Essence de Parfum. Not Le Mal de Parfum, not Le Mal Elixir. No, 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 none of that. This is Essence de Parfum. Which, depending on when you got into fragrances, you may not even know which flanker that is, which fragrance that is, uh, because it wasn't really out in a big way for uh, all that long before it kind of disappeared. Nowadays, it is quite expensive. Uh, Essence de Parfum, if you want it, you're gonna have to look you know, at eBay and places like that, and it commands a, a pretty big premium versus how much it was when it first came out. And this is a really wearable leather fragrance. It has some similarities to uh, C H. Preve from Carolina Herrera, so kind of in that wheelhouse. I actually really liked Essence de Parfum. I thought that it was very wearable, but at the same time, had kind of a unique flair to it. The leather in there, as I said, is really well done, sexy smelling, had pretty good performance as well. Just a good fall and winter time scent. Unfortunately, as I said, really difficult to find nowadays, and this is a great cheap alternative. So if you want uh, Essence de Parfum, this is what you want to pick up, because this will give you basically that at a fraction of the price. Right above the price. Speak English like it's my second language, even though it's the only language I know. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way, like an improv conversation. An improvisation. Let's go with another Francique. So there's also this one, Francique 107.9, or just 107.9, but I mean 107.9 sounds like a radio station, so I'm going to say 107.9. So just like the other Francique, this Francique is also a clone of a BDK fragrance, but this one is not Gris Charnel, it is Rouge Smoking, and it is very, very close. This one I actually wore side by side with Rouge Smoking, and uh, it was one of those deals where uh, it's just like a couple seconds in, you go back and forth and you're like, oh yeah, they got like 95.9% the way there. So whereas this one had a couple slight differences with Gris Charnel, uh, this one right here is just basically spot on with Rouge Smoking. It's very, very good. So if you like Rouge Smoking or you want something that's close to it on the cheap, this is your one-stop shop right there. And as I said, giveaway. I've got one of this and one of this. And a little bit later on in the video, we'll go over the giveaway, how to enter and everything, and one of you can have your choice. So there we go. I'll just sit these here for now. After that, we have Sharoff Blend by Zamaya. This is a clone of Angel Share. It is phenomenal. It is so well done. It has a great looking presentation. I mean, that looks very nice. I think this looks better than Comra uh, as far as like clone presentations. Even has like gold foil on top there. And this is basically Angel Share with uh, the addition of a solid amount of dates. This one just has that, you know, that sweetness that you expect from Angel Share. Just really ramped up, very rich, very Elegant. Ooh, smells awesome. If this had beaten Comra to the market, this would be the most popular Angel Share alternative. 
pretty easily. It really just ticks all the boxes for me. This stuff is fantastic. I know there are a lot of Angel Share clones at this point, so it's kind of hard to you know stand out from the crowd, but um, if you're not Angel Shared to death, that's one worth checking out. Then we have one from Paris Corner. This one is called Nauf. No. No. N-O-U-F. So simple, yet so easy to screw up. I like the presentation here with the little tassel that's just kind of flopping all over the place. This fragrance, it's, um, you know, it's very pineapple forward. It is a bit similar to Hasavat by Nishane. I would say uh, it's, it's closer to that one than any of the other Aventus style fragrances. I've actually had this for a while. Uh, I picked it up quite a while back and then Fragrance Buy sent me a bottle of it. They're like, hey, you should check this out. So I'll give that away <laughs> in the not too distant future also, because I already had it. I don't need two bottles. I guess I'll just add that to this one. Okay, so three options. There will be three options. Either one of these or you can get this one, okay? We're, we're winging it here. <laughs> just making it up as I go along. Hey! But this is a really nice one. Very well done. A lot of pineapple. You have to enjoy that. And as I said, it's going to get you close to Hasavat. So maybe a little bit like Hasavat with amplified pineapple off the top. And since we're talking Aventus-y type fragrances, let's talk about this one as well. How about that? Afnon Supremacy. Not only intense. Not only intense. No, no, no. There's also other things other than intensity. So this one is uh, also kind of a Hasabat type fragrance, Aventus type fragrance. Very nice quality to it. Extremely wearable. It does pack a pretty solid punch. So it says it's not only intense. It wants you to know that there's more to it than that other than the intensity of the performance. I would say between this one and this one, as far as just being like a I don't know, fully fleshed out clone fragrance that this is the better option of the two. But between the two, this one is gonna give you more of that pineapple. So if that's what you desire, maybe check that. Not only Intense though, has extremely good quality to go along with that performance, uh, the versatility. And with it being a Hasabat Aventus type fragrance, people are gonna love it. You know, big compliment pulling type of scent. Let's go Rubraca next with Theorem. This is a clone of Bulgari's Tiger, and that is one of the most cloned fragrances today, I would say. Tiger is just all over the place as far as clone fragrances go. This one, really affordable, so you know you're not gonna have to spend too much for it. Has that amazing opening, which frankly, most of the Tiger clones get really, really well done. They uh, nail that opening, where it has that citrus, it's just, you know, sweet, has just a tinge of green to it, sparkling, effervescent, but with like a syrupy kind of undertone. It, it smells awesome. And as far as your best bang for your buck, cheapy tiger alternatives, this is probably the best one out right now. Uh, if not the best, it's right up there with them as far as the cheap ones go. Let's wrap things up with a couple of all horror main fragrances. First up, you got this guy right here. It is Amber Oud. Ruby Edition, which you gotta love the Amber Oud line. And uh, this can be used as kind of a lesson in general for fragrances, lines, brands. You will sometimes have not just clone brands, could be any brand. You'll have brands come out with lines of fragrances where they'll name it something that maybe initially makes sense. Then as time goes on, it loses its meaning. So what do I mean by that? Well, this one is called Amber Oud, right? Amber Oud. I mean, that's telling you right there, two of the main notes, or what should be two of the main notes. Amber and Oud. I know, go figure. But this is the Ruby edition of Amber Oud. So uh, what is it a clone of? Well, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum, which uh, obviously makes sense when you look at the bottle there, right? You know, it's the same kind of deal with uh, BR540 Extrait. So let's put our thinking caps on. Does BR540 Extrait feature Amber and Oud prominently? No. Well, you could say maybe like, you know, kind of amber woods, right? But, but certainly not oud. And uh, it's like that across the entire lineup. Well, not the entire lineup, but it, it's kind of moved away from what it once was. Amber oud maybe initially made sense, but then as it branches out to cloning other fragrances that have nothing to do with oud especially, um, the name just is a placeholder for whatever comes in this bottle style. And I've talked about this before, but you have fragrance houses as well, like the House of Oud, for example, which has some great scents, fantastic bottles, but you would think, well, this is the house that Oud built. This is the house of Oud. So everything is going to be focused on Oud, but it's not. So all of this 
is to say, uh, just because you see something says Amber Oud on the front, don't automatically think, oh, that's got a lot of Oud, Amber, nah, that's not my thing. And that could go across a bunch of other lines that I'm not talking about today, but yeah. As far as BR540 Extra goes, this is a great alternative. And at discounters, sometimes you can pick this up for a really good price considering the quality and performance. And then last but not least, another from all Harmain, La Ventura Blanche. Why this one? Because it doesn't really get any love. Very sad. La Ventura has always been this line that <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know, it's got its fans for sure. Uh, there are a bunch of people out there who will die on the hill saying that La Ventura is so much better than Club de Nuit Intense Man in pretty much every way, and yet it just can't compete <laughs> with Club de Nuit Intense Man as far as popularity goes. So this one is a clone of Silver Mountain Water. I think it's actually really well done. Uh, you don't have any screechiness off the top. You can spray it on and just immediately go. You don't have to worry about waiting for the dry down like I spoke about earlier. Just a really well done, overlooked at this point, Silver Mountain Water clone. So I wanted to briefly touch on that. All right, giveaway. So here they are, 107.9 and 6355. And then also this guy, if you want. Feels very lonely back here. In order to be entered in the giveaway, you have to like the video, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment below. If you don't leave a comment, how are you, how are you gonna be entered in the giveaway? All you gotta do, guys, is tell me which of the three uh, you would want and, and why. Just, I mean, one sentence is fine. One of these or this one. Just let me know which one and why. Uh, about 10 days from now, maybe two weeks, depending on like how much is going on, uh, it'll give more than enough time for everybody to enter. I'll uh, post up the winner on the community tab of the YouTube channel. I'll use random comment picker and then um, whoever wins, just respond to that post with the same account that you use to make the comments on this video. It's like so drawn out. I have to do that because every time that I announce winners, I get flooded, dudes. Just flooded with scammers. So I do that so I can verify it's the same person. I'll eat the shipping cost uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, the last person that won was in the Philippines, so. <laughs> Eh. Do you know how much it costs to ship one fragrance to the Philippines? <laughs> More than the fragrance costs. Not your fault though. Not your fault. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that and uh, good luck. Just let me know which one. Oh, and just be aware that the uh, 107.9 looks like somebody punched it. Uh, that was me, it's already punched. There we go, guys. These are the clone fragrances. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.